Okay. Hi, this is Omkar Singh. Welcome to Lockdown Series. These episodes are focused to bring awareness on mental health and well-being and its importance. Our guests will be sharing their few tips and advices for the better mental health among students and will also be sharing their own way of coping up with the mental well-being. Uh, today we are joined by Apurva Kundu. Uh, he is the uh, Deputy Dean for AHSS, Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, hi Apurva, how are you today? I'm fine, Amkar. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great. So, uh, you know, these sessions are mostly oriented to focus on the students' health and mental well-being. Uh, do you have any tips and advices for the students at ARU? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to offer some advice I, I, as to what I'm doing. I, I hope it's useful. Um, but I'd start by saying that just like the students, you know, staff like myself are also you know, facing up to this big challenge of uh, COVID and lockdown. Uh, and we're all trying to develop our, uh, you know, uh, strategies for dealing with it. And I suppose what I've found ever since the first lockdown started in March is how much reading I'm doing. Um, and I don't mean reading for work, which, you know, one has to do and reading for studies, which one has to do as well, but just reading for pleasure. Um, and I think in that sense, um, you know, I just wanted to remind students that our library has a huge set of novels, even graphic novels. So, you know, don't just read on sociology or nursing studies, you know, use the library to check out uh, books. I've got I've got always a stack of detective books or, or literature in front of me. And uh, uh, so that would be one tip for our library. Uh, the second tip for is also centered about around our library in that Again, probably students know that uh, there's a lot of online resources available, but I'm not so sure how many know about Box of Broadcasts. So again, you may be using Netflix or you may be using the BBC iPlayer, but Box of Broadcasts is also available via our library site, and it has a huge amount of um, viewing for pleasure or viewing for research. Um, I'm a big football fan, so I must confess I was watching uh, Rewatching the the 2002 World Cup the other day, when I discovered it on Bro Box of Broadcasts. So, in other words, just have these kind of ways you can turn off, you know, do things for pleasure. As I said, in in, in my case, I do a lot of reading and then watching of sport. Um, so there are resources available via ARU that uh, you can take advantage of. So that would be my my two top tips, as it were, for that. Thank you, thank you very much. I think this is something new to take uh, from here. What you suggested. So what personally you prefer for coping up with your mental health? Well, as I said, this, besides reading, which I say is, is a real is a real lifesaver, um, remembering to take exercise. Uh, I think especially now when the days are drawing closer, you know, the evening is coming sooner, it can be easy to, to do your work and then think, well, it's dark already, I won't bother doing exercise. But I just like to encourage people, no, stick with it. You know, whether whether you, you know, you get up early and do something first thing in the morning um, or you do something in the evening, do try and do physical exercise. It could be in your room, you know, watching uh, 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 some online yoga exercises or it could be a very quick, you know, half hour walk outside. I think if you're located in Cambridge or Chelmsford, you know, there's a lot of green space available quite quickly if you walk, especially, you know, within an hour's walk of our campuses in Chelmsford or Cambridge. In both cases, you're walking along the riverside, you can walk into town and back. So it's doing that exercise. And I know it may be dark, it may be cold, it may be rainy, but that the reward you get for that exertion, for that physical exertion, I think is is very much worth it. And I'm not holding myself up and saying I'm perfect about that too. There are days when when I think, oh, okay, I will, we'll just have some more biscuits and, and, and watch something or read something. But I always do try and make an effort to uh, to do some physical exercise. I think that's that's really important. Do you prefer hobbies uh, for your mental health? I mean, apart from uh, just I can see the books behind you. So apart yeah. from. <laughs> Um, to be honest, no, I, I don't have, you know, my hobbies, you know, my, my, the, the great love of, of one of the, one of the great loves that I like to do in my spare time is travel. So of course that's not been possible now. Um, 
But I would say what's one positive thing is that we have the technology to travel. And so I use WhatsApp uh, and Zoom uh, to visit my relatives in India, uh, in Italy, in the US. You know, I'm lucky enough to have family all over. And, you know, because we're all reliant on this technology, I think we've all found even our, you know, grandparents are now using the technology uh, that we can use that to connect. Um, in my case, I have a good set of friends from high school who I would meet perhaps uh, if I was lucky once a year uh, back in the US. Uh, but we're finding now we meet mo once a month for a nice chat, you know, uh, with a beer or two, I must say. But it's, it's that opportunity to reconnect with people, to have those conversations. Um, so if you have that opportunity, you know, why not, why not reach out to someone you haven't spoken to in a while? You know, why not make the effort to talk to that auntie who you've always meant to keep up with? Um, I always find people are really keen to talk because don't forget, all around the world, we're all facing this, this virus, aren't we? We're all facing lockdowns. We're all facing, you know, sometimes feelings of loneliness. So, you know, if you make the effort, I'm sure it'll be rewarded uh, uh, by others. Yeah, yeah, and Sam. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, do you have any, uh, my, my last question, do you have any Christmas message for students? I mean, they're planning, so. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a, that's something new. I wasn't prepared for that because uh, Christmas seems a, a long way away, but you're right. Now that if I think of the calendar, um, it's coming up. Uh, well, hopefully we'll be out of lockdown. You know, the, the current status in the UK is that we'll, it'll finish on the 2nd of December. So after that, travel will be allowed. Um, if you're if you're lucky enough to be traveling home, you know, enjoy your your Christmas break. Do take some time to unwind. If you're not uh, traveling home, uh, do see if you can grab an opportunity to go around the UK. You know, again, with not very much money, especially if you travel by coach, you can get to all parts of the UK, and it's a beautiful country. Uh, even in winter, <laughs> as long as you get out early, I find if you get out early while while the the day is still the day. Uh, you can do a lot of good exploring. So, you know, why not, you know, take the opportunity to, to see some of the, the beautiful countryside and some of the lovely towns and, and villages around Cambridge and Chelmsford. Thank you. Thank you so much for your advice and joining us with today. Uh, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you and stay safe. Yeah, thank you. Bye, everyone. See you in the next uh, episode. Bye.